Hey, what's going on, guys? Tuko from Music IDTV, and this is Use the News. So, Childish Gambino has released dates for his This Is America tour, and when you purchase tickets to this tour, you will also get two exclusive un finished songs to go along with your purchase in which the note says once you receive the email it says do not share this with anyone these songs are specifically meant for people who are attending the show this is another phenomenon when it comes to bundling now we've heard about Nicki Minaj complaining how Travis Scott has been selling merchandise and clothes with his album that have it do well and even Nicki herself did a collaboration with Virgil Abloh to try and get her sales up as well we've seen Taylor Swift do this Ariana Grande so on and so forth is happening a ton it's been happening for a while and I don't think this is going to be the end of it. Honestly, I do think this will be the future of the way you get people to consume your music. Not only is it the future, I would say it's more so the present. Even historically, merchandise and ticket sales have always been a major money maker for the music industry. We just didn't have the vantage point to see how it was operating behind the scenes when it came to our favorite bands, when we go to the shows and see all that merch and we buy stuff, you know, and we all wear like outcast shirts and we're a ton of different artists. And this is one of the way they make a lot of money, which I think we're a little bit more familiar with now because music isn't selling like it once did it's all about the digital world and streams and a lot of savvy indie acts have been taking advantage of this for a while if you guys have heard about the 1000 fan strategy which i'm sure you've heard about even brand man shana talked about on the channel it is a true strategy if you get 1000 true fans to spend a hundred dollars with you once a year at least a hundred dollars with you for that year you can stand to make six figures in the music industry and how would they spend that hundred dollars with you i'm pretty sure it's not going to be just your music clearly they're already paying for spotify or apple music or just listen to it on youtube so then what else can you come up with to make them actually have financial exchanges with you monetary exchanges you're gonna have to look into merch, you're gonna have to look into, look into shows, you're gonna have to look into giveaways, you're gonna have to look into a whole bunch of bundling to get them to try and make these purchases. And I think for all of us looking to make these type of strides in the music industry, the operative word is fan. You have to have true fans who are willing to try and spin with you because when they do this, they're ultimately buying into the brand which created the fan. So one thing that I would say that everyone should truly focus on is building a strong brand, one that entices your target fan base to want to engage with you, want to make purchases with you, and ultimately, how do you do this? Well, the Brand Man Channel is full of tips and strategies on how you can build a stronger brand for yourself, so I'm going to leave it up to the channel to aggregate that all for you since it's been aggregated thus far so in the comment section below let us know if you've been bundling and let us know if you had any success with bundling so because if you have then this might be something you want to keep doing if you have not then you might want to focus harder on your brand if you tried it and it didn't work and if you have not done it at all consider it beyond that be sure to share with a friend like and subscribe for more videos once again my name is tuko from music id tv and this is use the news people sign out